In the last days before Christmas 2023, it may be time to take a look back at progress on the Kingston Dock. We'll consider each of the major aspects, and progress has been considerable. In mid-year, the attachment of supports to the piles off the north side of the dock was both interesting and intriguing. It took the arrival, some time later, of a large quantity of EFCO forms to explain. On the formwork placed, a number of different forms became the basis of concrete work to come. Preparations also became evident for the iron workers of Armature Bois Flon to come in and place reinforcing rod. This was the situation as work came to a close for the Christmas holiday. The next item to examine is the ramp and the ramp towers. On a grey day in July, there was no evidence of the structure of the ramp. In early September, the main frame was beginning quickly to take shape. November saw the structure largely completed and the first of the deck gratings placed. Closer examination also revealed that the lifting mechanisms were in place. By December, the upper supports had also been positioned, and this is the status as we move towards the Christmas holidays. Building, filling and finishing the finger dock has been a challenge for some time. It's a considerable size, it has to be absolutely stable and there was a considerable volume to fill. By early November though, sheet pile sides were being trimmed and it was clear that the final fill was underway. Towards the end of the month, it was even evident that capping was being placed on the north side. Preparations to pour concrete walls on the south side were evident at the beginning of the month. And here's the situation as we head into Christmas. Note the spaces for bollards on the north inside of the finger dock. Some of the most significant changes have been in the area of the utility building, which had just begun to grow in July. The pace of progress has been pretty rapid. By the way, the crane we see here has been gone from the site for several weeks now. This was the situation in early December. By mid-month, work was beginning to pour a roof. And just before Christmas, it was clear that concrete was curing. This was the late summer situation in the area of the passenger terminal. There were signs of positive change in September. By November, things were actually proceeding pretty well. By the end of that month, rebar was actually being laid to create the floor for the terminal. With a firm foundation in place by the 8th of December, on the 12th, work could begin on construction of the steel framework of the building. And progress on the build has been rapid.
I'll leave this update with a view of the situation today and wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and the happiest of New Years. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing.